Apparently there's a muskox exactly where we're gonna have lunch. Yeah, and they said either it will move or it's gonna attack us. Then I come up in 60 km in the time, it's very fast. Our fastest horse comes up in 55, 90. Oh. Oh. Today we are on a quest to find muskox. On a horse? On a horse. The most beautiful animal in the world. If horse is not your favorite animal, then think again. I can't believe I'm gonna be riding on one of these. <gasps> Are you good at horse riding? Uh, I've done it uh, quite a lot of times, yes. I'm a bit scared of horse riding. I've only been on a horse twice before, and one time the horse ran away into the woods with me on it. But as long as my horse doesn't try to throw me off, I think we should be fine. <laughs> Dag. Ja. Du ska få svipa. Svipa. Uh, my name is uh, Kirsti Jerkin and uh, with my family I uh, run Jerkin Fjellstue og Fjellridning. Katarina, du ska få Saga. Saga. Mm. Hej. So now we're putting on this. Andre vägen. Andre vägen? Ja, sån. Perfect. I've put the saddle on my horse. I'm not sure if I've done it correctly at all. Well, this will be uh, tricky. Also go for them had a red or wow. Yeah. All right, now we've got our helmets on. I'm feeling a bit nervous, but uh, we're ready. <gasps> the landscape is beautiful. How does it feel, Katarina? It feels all right. I, I haven't really looked for very many mosque oxes yet because I'm trying to not fall off the horse. <laughs> all right, let's see if our guide can spot some mosque ox. How big are mosque oxes? Uh, they are about the size of an Icelandic horse. They look very big and sturdy, but inside all this fur is like a very slim uh, goat. And they're very fast and they can jump high and doesn't look like it, but they are really fast. I'm very excited about seeing my first mox ox and mox, mox ox. I can't say it though. It's called muskus in Norwegian. What, what do you think our chances are of seeing a mox ox? I don't know, you never know out in the wild. Leave your faith in the hands of nature. That's what we're doing. That's what you do in Norway. And this is the only place in the world where you can go horseback riding looking for mox ox. Looking for musk ox. But who do you think is going to spot one first? You have a superior uh, vision. I have superior sense of uh, everything else. <laughs> Look how comf comfortable I am uh, on horseback. Extreme coolness. No musk ox spotted here. Let's continue the ride. Get a glimpse now of these majestic creatures. We've stopped to see if we can see any musk oxes over here. Mm. <gasps> okay, we found musk ox. We found one! We found them. <gasps> Are we seeing them? There they are. Tiny, tiny little dots. That's a mus. That's a couple of musk oxes. It's musk oxes time. Okay, let's see, let's see if we can get closer. Yeah. I saw them first. Oh. Well, actually, the guide spotted it first, so. We found them, Katarina. We found them. That's cool. I can't believe how close to the musk oxes we are now. There they are. They don't seem to mind our presence. And they do look big. They didn't look like goats. <laughs> they look big. Wow. So these musk ox, musk ox, so these musk ox, so these musk ox lived here naturally before the ice age. They disappeared and they were brought here from Greenland. Why? Not sure. We are 200 meters away from them, so as not to disturb them. We're closer than I thought we would be. Is it a white one? I think so. Oh, maybe that's a stone. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a stone. And they, they look quite peaceful. I can see maybe five. 
They're pretty big, don't you think? Yeah. Do you have an urge to go pet them? No. Because <laughs> we've heard about how dangerous they can be. They are one of the few not predator animals that actually attack if they are threatened. Apparently there's a muskox exactly where we're gonna have lunch. Yeah, and they said either it will move or it's gonna attack us. Oh. Oh. So now we're just looking for muskoxes and hoping that they're not there exactly where we're gonna have lunch. I'm not sure what to do if we suddenly come too close to muskox. If we meet them, it's like every man for himself. And, uh, <laughs> and we won't uh, outrun them anyway. Now we have to make a bit of noise in case there's a muskox here so that we scare it. Now one of the guides is going up to check if the muskox is at our little lunch stop, singing and making a lot of noise. We don't want to surprise the muskox because then it might uh, be scared. So we just want to let it know that we're here. Woo, lunch break! Oh, I'm feeling it in my legs now. <laughs> Sun. I'm so pleased with this experience. Oh, and a blueberry. Mm. I was a bit scared to begin with, but now I'm feeling so safe and just really enjoying myself. Dag has found the best lunch spot right at the top. I, I think the muskox uh, got scared away but uh, we kept the saddles on in case it comes back. Yeah, because we're really in the muskox's habitat now. That seems quite exotic, don't you think? To be riding around here. This is the muskox territory. Not ours. Not ours, we're just visiting. Lunch is over. Time to go back on the horseback. Time to put my, your butt back on the horse. And off we go. We're riding through the woods and something that just hit me is what an amazing terrain vehicle of horses. I mean, you couldn't go here by car. You have to like have a four-legged like, animal take you here. And a horse is a good choice. Rainbow. This has been such a good experience. And there's not just muskoxes and horses here in Norway. It's actually wild how many safaris you can visit. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Run, horse. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs>